in this video we are going to be discussing on the reactions of uh, alkyl benzene reactions of alkyl benzene but before we continue I want to thank uh, those of you who have taken your time to subscribe to my channel for those of you who haven't uh, subscribed uh, please take your time subscribe to the channel like our videos and then share to fellow learners who will be writing exam next year or in two or three years Thank you for taking your time to subscribe to our channel. Uh, let's get uh, started. Reactions of alkyl benzene. Reactions of alkyl benzene. You know that. You know that uh, benzene. All these. All alkyl benzenes are these are compounds having uh, alkyl groups on the benzene ring. But uh, how is a benzene uh, produced? Uh, benzene can be produced from uh, ethane. It, it can be produced from ethane by heating ethane with a red hot uh, copper if ethane is heated with red hot copper you can equally get a benzene or oh, with um, uh, iron tube you can equally get a benzene so uh, benzene as I said can be produced from ethane in this uh, let me uh, give you the equation uh, this is a time can have benzene here yeah, you could use uh, as I said uh, iron tube red hot copper Red hot a copper, a red hot copper heated, a red hot copper this is fine. And this is benzene. So if you do that, you can get a benzene. Now, our subject today was or is a reaction of uh, alkyl benzene. We will be starting with. Um, halogenation of methyl benzene we'll be, we'll be starting with halogenation of methyl benzene uh, let's say halogenation of methyl benzene uh, the reagent for the reaction is uh, uh, any halogen let's say chlorine 
or bromine gas. And the condition is uh, a halogen uh, carrier. It could be aluminum chloride or ion 3 chloride that will be acting as a catalyst. If we are using chlorine as a reagent, the product would be two chloro, uh, would be two chloro and a four chloro methyl benzene. Would be two chloro or four methyl and a four methyl benzene. Generally, we can call it halo acyl benzene. The condition, once more, is a halogen carrier. It could be aluminum chloride or ion three chloride that will be acting as a catalyst. Not UV light. All these not UV light. It should be noted that for this reaction, for this reaction, it should be noted that uh, this is how the reaction would go. Uh, methyl benzene. We will have this methyl benzene. This is methyl benzene. And the methyl benzene, uh, uh, what is going to happen here is that a methyl benzene, the methyl group, the methyl group is electron donating. The methyl group is electron donating. It will activate the ring. It will activate the ring and uh, it will activate the ring at the position of uh, 2, uh, 4, and 6. These positions here, this is what is going to happen. The positions here, 2, 4, and uh, 6. So this is electron donate. Um, uh, this uh, is an electron donating group. Is going to activate the ring. It's going to activate the ring. There's going to be an increase in the electron density in the ring. So when it increases the electron, it increases the electron density at the two, four, and the six position. Increases the electron density at the two, four, and six position, thereby activating the ring for electrophilic attack at the fourth, at the second, the fourth, and the sixth position. That is why we say the methyl group is electron donating. It activates the ring at the position of four, uh, two, four, and six. It increases the electron density of the delocalized elect um, uh, the electron density of the delocalized electron system of the benzene ring. For this reason, for this reason, it activates the ring so that attack electrophilic attack will take place at the second, the fourth, and the sixth position. This these positions are where electron density is high. In other words, we can say this group, the methyl group, is 2, 4, 6 directing. It is 2, 4, 6 directing once more because it increases electron density at the 2, 4, and 6 positions, thereby initiating electrophilic attack at these very positions. So that in the incoming group, any incoming group, any incoming group will be directed to the two position, the fourth position, and uh, the sixth position. For halogenation, for halogenation, this halogenation 
is not going to take place here. It is going to take place in the ring. It is the hallucination is going to be going to be substitution at the second, the fourth, and the sixth position. There is going to be substitution. We're going to substitute the hydrogen at the second, the fourth, and at the sixth position. So this is what is going to happen now. Should in K uh, now we are reacting with hydrogen, I mean uh, with uh, chlorine plus chlorine. We will have we will have at this position you will have Have chlorine and uh, steamy fumes of hydrogen chloride. So what we will have here will be this is methyl benzene. This is two chloromethyl benzene. And this is hydrogen chloride. Now, I said at the second and the fourth position. Now, at the fourth position, we will also have this. Having See how this as methyl benzene. We we'll have this as four chloro methyl benzene. So, as I was saying, I said the condition is the condition for this halogenation of, of this halogenation of this uh, methyl benzene. Methyl benzene is an alkyl benzene. It's an alkyl benzene. The condition is we are using but a halogen carrier. We are not using. We are not going to use UV light. And uh, 
when it happens, we are using methyl, uh, 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 methyl benzene. Being uh, the methyl group, a methyl group is an alkyl group, and uh, an alkyl group is electron donating. It's an electron donating. It increases the electron density at the second, the fourth, and uh, the sixth position. When it does this, when it, uh, when it increases electron density at these three positions, it does what it helps to activate the ring for electrophilic attack to occur at these positions so that any incoming group any incoming group for instance like the chlorine chlorine is the incoming group chlorine is being directed for electrophilic um, uh, for electrophilic attack at the second the second the fourth and the sixth position so for that reason, we call this group 246 directing. We call this group 246 directing because that is where electrophilic substitution is taking place. Uh, we will move to the next uh, group. Um, the next one will be the next condition we will for the next one that we we'll use. The same, we are going to use the same reagent, but the condition will change. But the condition will change. In this case, we are going to use chlorine or bromine. We are going to still use chlorine or bromine. But the condition is UV light this time around. UV light, we are going to use a UV light and not uh, a halogen carrier. The UV light is going to act as our catalyst not a not a, a halogen carrier and in that case the substitution is not going to take place on the ring the substitution is not going to take place on the ring the substitution will be taking place but on the archive group the substitution will be taking place but on the archive group so it should be noted that where an electron uh, it should be noted that where a halogen carrier is being used the substitution of the incoming group will take place but on the ring but when a halogen carrier is used substitution will take place but on the archive group that is on the benzene ring so in this case where we are using but a UV light as our catalyst the substitution is going to take place in the archive group so, we would have here the methyl benzene. Of methyl benzene here, uh, methyl benzene plus uh, chlorine, methyl benzene plus chlorine. We would be having. I said the substitution is going to take place, but substitution into the archive group, not on the ring. Here we will have In that case, we will be having, in that case, our product here will be chloromethyl benzene. Chloromethyl 
chloromethyl benzene. Chloromethyl benzene. So now, now, even though it is, uh, even though the methyl group is electron donating, even though the meta, uh, the electron, um, the methyl group is electron donating, it doesn't. The condition of the reaction has changed. Uh, the reaction, the reaction is not going to be taking place this time around on the benzene ring. It's going to be taking place within or be, uh, between the alkyl group and chlorine. So substitution is going to be in the alkyl group, not on the benzene ring. So now it is a continuous process until all the hydrogens there are all substituted. As halogenation, we will have now we can now substitute for use chloromethyl benzene for the reaction again And our product, our product, our our product here, our product here will be, our product here would be, dichloromethyl benzene, dichloromethyl benzene. That will be our product. Dichloromethyl. Dichloromethyl benzene. The reaction continues until all the hydrogens are fully substituted. So now we'll be reacting with dichloromethyl benzene.
and uh, our product will be trichloromethyl benzene. It will be trichloromethyl benzene. That will be our product. Trichloromethyl benzene. So when we do this, that is a full. That is the halogenation of that's halogenation of an alkyl benzene using a UV light. So we can proceed to nitration of alkyl benzene. Nitration of alkyl benzene. Our reagent in this uh, case is a concentrated nitric acid. We will be using a concentrated nitric acid. And uh, we will reflux, uh, the reaction mixture will be reflux at a temperature less than uh, 30 degrees Celsius. In the presence of uh, sulfuric acid, that will be acting as a catalyst. So uh, nitric acid, nitric acid and uh, sulfuric acid mix at this, uh, uh, mixed at this temperature and uh, mix at this uh, temperature and reflux, we will have uh, a nitronium ion, and this nitronium ion will be substituted. The nitronium ion will be substituted again at the second and uh, at it will be substituted at the second and uh, at the fourth position. Since we said the methyl group is Two four directing. The methyl group is two four directing. Just as I said, they initiate. They help to increase the electron density in the ring, and uh, in that case, they activate. They activate the ring and uh, initiate electrophilic attack at the two four six position. So when uh, when a concentrated uh, nitric acid is mixed with uh, concentrated sulfuric acid and reflux at a temperature less than 30 degrees Celsius, we will have a nitro, uh, we will have, um, uh, we will have um, nitromethyl benzene. And it will be a two nitromethyl benzene and a four nitromethyl benzene. But should in case, but should in case the temperature exceeds 30 degrees Celsius, we will, we will also we will have a two, four, and a six. But in most occasions, this is rare. So now, now the product for this reaction here would be reacting concentrated sulfuric acid, reacting concentrated sulfuric acid and nitric acid we will have a nitronium ion. The nitronium ion will be so, will substitute, this substitution in the benzene will substitute at the second and the fourth position. If you want to know the details of the mechanism, the mechanism of this reaction, please refer to our previous video on uh, nitration of benzene. If you want to know the uh, mechanism of this reaction, uh, I will advise you to watch our previous video on nitration of benzene. But in this case, it's still the same. It is still the same thing. But I'll just I will just give you uh, uh, the product of the reaction. So uh, methyl benzene. Uh, methyl benzene will have um, say it is two for directing plus methyl benzene plus um, uh, nitric acid. The reagent is concentrated nitric acid. Uh, concentrated nitric acid will have uh, the nitro 
NO2 will be at the fourth, the second and fourth position. Will be at the second position. Plus water. And the product of this, the main product from here will is uh, two nitro methyl benzene. Two nitro methyl. Methyl benzene. Two nitro methyl benzene. Now, again, since we said uh, the methyl group is two, four, six directing. The second product will also be uh, four nitro benzene. Uh, that will be a four nitro benzene. You will have uh, this. This will be, uh, will be four nitro benzene. Uh, four, uh, four nitro benzene. There will be four nitro benzene that will be formed there, and uh, a molecule of water. So this is for nitro benzene. For nitro, for nitro methyl benzene. Sorry, for nitro for nitro methyl uh, benzene. So now we will, uh, we will proceed. We will proceed to oxidation of alkyl benzene. Oxidation of alkyl benzene. Oxidation of alkyl benzene. We we'll proceed to oxidation of alkyl benzene. Uh, it should be remembered that. It should be remembered that oxidation of alkyl benzene has to, uh, with oxidation, uh, with oxidation of alkyl benzene, even though the methyl group is, uh, even though the methyl group is uh, two, four, six directing, but in this situation, in this situation, uh, the mixture, the mixture is heated under reflux. And the reagent, the reagent is um, acidified uh, potassium manganate uh, seven. When acidified uh, potassium uh, manganate seven is heated, uh, is mixed with uh, a methyl benzene and uh, heated under reflux. There is what we call a side chain oxidation. A side chain oxidation. 
the reagent acidified potassium manganate uh, 7 is there is an oxidizing agent it should be noted that acidified uh, potassium manganate 7 is an oxidizing agent and what is oxidation oxidation is the addition when it has to do with organic compound addition of uh, oxygen into a compound with subsequent removal of hydrogen there's addition of oxygen with subsequent removal of hydrogen. So in this in this situation, uh, oxygen is being added to this compound and it is on the side chain. So the oxidation is not taking place in the ring. The oxidation is taking place on the methyl group. The oxidation is taking place on the methyl group. And the methyl group is always oxidized. The methyl group is always oxidized to a carboxylic acid group. So this acidified potassium manganese 7 is used to oxidize the side chain. In this situation, the side chain here is the methyl group. So the methyl group is oxidized to the acid group, to the carboxylic acid group. So uh, see how the whole thing uh, goes. Let me write the equation for you. And you see it. It's methyl benzene as our example. Methyl benzene as our example is uh, this one. So you will see that you see that the acidified uh, potassium manganate, uh, the acidified potassium manganate seven, is used to oxidize the side chain, which is the methyl group, uh, which is the methyl group to the uh, corresponding uh, benzoic acid. We oxidize it to benzoic acid. This is benzoic acid from a methyl benzene to a benzoic acid. So as I said that the, the reaction mixture is uh, heated under reflux. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, under here reflux and uh, here oxygen will substitute the hydrogens here to, to produce uh, the acid and the one of the hydrogen, I mean, uh, the, the other hydrogen, uh, two of the hydrogens are now taken with two atoms of hydrogen, uh, two atoms of oxygen produce uh, I mean a one atom of oxygen to produce a molecule of water so we use two atoms of oxygen here and one is left that is used with two atoms of hydrogen then 
a molecule of water is being produced. So, so it should be noted that in any other in, 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 in any other reaction, when given any other reaction that has to do with acidified potassium manganate, all uh, carbon side chain groups or alkyl groups or, or uh, any uh, carbon side chain group is always oxidized to the carboxylic acid group under this condition. For instance, I will, I will be using this other one. Uh, another example of this is, uh, let's use um, this, an example of one for dimethyl benzene one for dimethyl benzene you see that the side chains are oxidized to the corresponding acid groups so you have this here also have this this time around we will need six atoms of we will need six atoms of oxygen because we are going to oxidize two side chains I mean side uh, uh, chains we have this that is taken into consideration we will have manganate acidified uh, manganate uh, 7 acidified uh, manganate 7 ion when we reflux it Our product will be a dicarboxylic acid. Our product here will be a dicarboxylic acid group that will generate. We will have this plus two molecules of water. will have these plus two molecules of water that will be formed have that two molecules two molecules of water again we could still have this is um, the first example for this side chain oxidation. That is the first example. This is the second example. And this is the third example for this. The third example, we are not going to use a methyl group. Uh, we are going to use but an ethyl group in this situation. We are going to use but an ethyl group in this situation. See what the outcome will be. Yeah. Okay. We are going to use this again. Reaction condition will be we will have we will 
have this okay pause same condition uh, under reflux so you will look at this uh, this will be uh, you will see that again this is uh, This is ethyl benzene. Ethyl benzene will give us benzoic acid, still benzoic acid. So it's the same thing, as we said, it's the same thing that we are going to use. You will see that we, may, we, we are not using uh, uh, methyl benzene, we are going to use but another alkyl group, uh, that is the, uh, the, the ethyl group. So we are using but ethyl benzene this time around, not methyl benzene. Ethyl benzene, under the same condition or reaction condition, that is acidified uh, potassium and manganate uh, 7 ion. We reflux it. And uh, you see what is happening here. What is happening here is that only an acid is produced. Then the, carb the other carbon atom is converted to what? To carbon dioxide. The other carbon is now converted to carbon dioxide. Even if it was a proper group here, only one acid group is produced, then the other ones will be converted to carbon dioxide and uh, water. That's what happens. So a recap of, uh, our, uh, of our topic. From the from the onset, I said benzene is produced through, uh, by heating uh, ethyne by heating ethyne with red hot uh, copper. When you do that, you can get a benzene. But for our reactions regarding alkyl benzene, we said alkyl benzene can undergo halogenation, but the type of halogenation that the alkyl benzene will undergo will depend on the reaction condition. Now, this is halogenation using uh, a halogen carrier. Either you use aluminum chloride or ion 3 chloride as a catalyst. When you use aluminum chloride or uh, uh, ion 3 chloride as a catalyst, the substitution, the substitution is going to be directly on the benzene ring. Now, initially, I told you the methyl group is an alkyl group, and all alkyl group are electron donating. They are electron donating. They 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 tend to increase the negative charge or the electron density at the second the fourth and the sixth position of the benzene ring. When they do this, they activate the ring. And when they activate the ring, 
They enable electrophilic attack to take place at the second, the fourth, and uh, at the sixth position. That is why we say archive groups, archive groups are two, four, six directed, so that any incoming group is directed, any incoming group or in any incoming electrophile is directed to the second, is, is directed to the second, the fourth, or the sixth position. This is where there is electrophilic substitution. Electrophilic substitution is taking place at, that, uh, at those positions. Once more, electrophilic substitution is taking place at those positions because those are the positions that are that there is high or oh, there is high or oh, there is there is high uh, electron density, and that is why reacting with chlorine, uh, we had two products. Uh, this um, uh, two chloro uh, two chloromethyl benzene and uh, four chloromethyl benzene. Then we went further to uh, see using halogenation, but this time around the reaction condition changed. And I told you that halogenation, the type of halogenation that takes place, will depend on the reaction condition. And the reaction condition in this situation is a UV light that is acting as a catalyst, no more a halogen carrier. And being a and being a, a UV light that is acting as a catalyst, what is going to happen now is the substitution. The substitution is not going to take place on the benzyl ring, but the substitution is going to be taking place is taking place, but within the archive group. The substitution is going to take place at the archive group. There's going to be substitution. The halogen, the halogen is going to substitute the hydrogen in the archive group until all the hydrogen, all the hydrogen atoms in the archive group are substituted. We substituted the first one, and we had chloromethyl benzene. Then we use chloromethyl benzene to react with chlorine again. We had, we had dichloromethyl benzene and uh, um, uh, steamy fumes of uh, hydrogen chloride. We use the uh, dichloromethyl benzene again to react with chlorine and finally we had trichloromethyl benzene. So under this condition, that is the type of substitution that is taking place. We went further for the nitration of uh, methyl benzene, of uh, nitration of the alkyl benzene. So nitration of alkyl benzene, as I told you, if you want to know the mechanism of nitration of benzene, you go, you visit our previous video on the reaction mechanism. The reaction mechanism of uh, uh, nitration of methyl benzene. Now this is an alkyl benzene, methyl benzene that is reacting with the same with uh, uh, with the same um, reagent. The nitronium ion that gives uh, the nitro group is produced by reacting uh, uh, concentrated nitric acid and uh, in the presence of uh, sulfuric acid, which is a catalyst, at a temperature less than 30 degrees Celsius. All these uh, are reflux, are reflux uh, under this uh, um, uh, temperature condition. And when we do that, when we do that, as I told you, the methyl group is a two for directing. So the first uh, product that will be obtained from here will be a two nitro methyl benzene, and the second and a molecule of water. Then the second product that will be obtained again will be a four four nitro four nitro methyl benzene with a molecule of water. But if the temperature rises above 30 degrees Celsius, it can give two, four, six, uh, um, uh, two, four, six trinitromethyl benzene. But in rare occasion, this will happen. We went further. We went further to the oxidation of alkyl benzene, and we are still using a methyl benzene as our example. Under this condition, um, nitration of alkyl benzene, the reagent for this, which is that that is used for the oxidation of this uh, alkyl benzene, is acidified uh, potassium manganate seven ion. Acidified potassium manganate seven. 
This is a strong oxidizing agent. Remember that for the purpose of revision, remember that acidified potassium and manganese as, a, as an oxidizing agent helps to provide oxygen. Helps to provide oxygen. So all this reaction mixture, as uh, this reaction mixture, is refluxed. And uh, what happened is that there is uh, a benzoic acid that is being produced. It should be remembered that it is the uh, it is the alkyl group that is being oxidized. There is oxidizing. Uh, there is oxidation of the side chain. The oxidation takes place. Uh, the, the the side chain is oxidized to a carboxylic acid group. For instance, this uh, for instance uh, the methyl group, uh, the, the methyl benzene will be oxidized to what? Will be oxidized to benzoic acid and a molecule of water. Then, if we are using, if if if, if uh, I was using, if I was using one for dimethyl benzene, remember I told you that the the side chain. Are the one to be oxidized. We are now going to have two acid groups here. We are going to have two acid groups. It's going to be our product will be a direct acid. There are two acid groups because the two side chains are going to be oxidized to what? They are going to be oxidized to two carboxylic acid groups and with two molecules of water that are being produced. If we if we change if we change the alkyl group. If we now change the alkyl group to from a methyl group to an ethyl group, now it's an ethyl benzene, and we want to under the same reaction condition, we oxidize it. We are not going to have only one of the carbon will be oxidized to a carboxylic acid group. Only one of the carbon on the carbon chain of the side chain will be oxidized to a carboxylic acid group. The other carbon will be converted. The other carbon will be converted to a carbon dioxide. The other carbon will be converted to carbon dioxide and, amol and uh, water. So, do not uh, do not be confused. If given uh, a methyl group and uh, an ethyl group or a propyl group, remember that only one of the carbon is oxidized to one of the carbon is oxidized to a carboxylic acid group. The rest for are converted to carbon dioxide and water. Thank you for listening. Uh, once more, for those who have not subscribed, please love our, uh, love our videos, share them to prospective learners. And uh, most importantly, take your time to subscribe to our channel so that subsequent videos you will have them thank you have a nice day wishing you best of luck in your exams